It looks as though fans are set to see more of the quick-witted 50-year-old on their screens as Claudia Winkleman is in the process of getting her own chat show. The Strictly host has reportedly already shot the pilot with So Television, the same team behind the Graham Norton show. Since joining her friend Tess Daly to co-host the popular BBC dance show Strictly Come Dancing in 2014, fans can't get enough of Claudia Winkleman. This year, the presenter ventured down a slightly different path of fronting a game show as she became the face of Channel 4's One Question. More recently, viewers have seen a different side to Claudia in the new BBC psychological reality series The Traitors. Now, it looks as though people are going to be seeing even more of the 50-year-old as she's in line to get her own chat show with the BBC. Tired, repetitive and overhyped, BBC viewers call for Strictly to be axed after 20 years Strictly Come Dancing first began in May 2004 and has seen many celebrity faces take to the dance floor for a chance to win the iconic Glitter Ball trophy. However now BBC viewers have called for the competition to be cancelled after 20 years, calling the show tired and repetitive. According to a source, Claudia is becoming one of the most popular presenters on the BBC. Speaking to The Sun, they said, her chat show pilot went down a storm with execs and there is a lot of buzz about it already. She has a razor-sharp wit and knows everyone in the industry, so she'd be perfect. Although viewers are loving seeing a darker side to Claudia in The Traitors, she revealed on The Graham Norton Show that she felt very uncomfortable in the role. In Friday's episode of The Chat Show, she commented, I am not always mean but I did have to do something at the beginning that I felt very uncomfortable with. I loved them all but I knew too much about everyone so had to stay separate from them all. The new series kicked off last week as 22 people descended to a Scottish manor house for a game of lies, backstabbing and deception in the hopes of winning a cash prize, among the group there are three people who are the traitors and have to work together to eliminate a regular contestant which are called the Faithfuls. Dot however, they have to try and remain undetected by the group as each episode when they all gather at the round table, there's a chance to vote off one person in hopes of it being a traitor. In the first episode, fans were shocked when Claudia booted two people from the competition before even entering the house. Asking them to line up in order of most likely to win to the least. Two men called Amos and Kieran humbly decided to put themselves in last place as they didn't want to seem cocky. Although their decision backfired as Claudia told them they'd be leaving immediately which sent shockwaves through the other contestants. Kieran revealed he was in utter devastation as Amos echoed his disappointment saying it was difficult. Off camera. A player called Nikki mentioned that the two men who were kicked off were trying to be chivalrous. She added, that's not what this game is about, it's about being ruthless and it's backfired. The Traders continues next Tuesday on BBC One from 9.15pm.